What's up, y'all? In these troubled times, everyone's trying to look for things that bring us together instead of separating us apart. ChipChipperson.com brings Yuma through merchandise. People have been asking me for a long time, Chip, are you have some merchandise? I said, I don't know, you know, I've been kind of busy. But now, great news. I've been inspired by some of the biggest people in this country, the Vice President of the United States, a big fan of the Chip Army, and also a General Major. So thank you, Mr. Pence. And of course, the woman who's trying to take his job, Kamala Harris, big Chipperson fan from way back. Milady, what? Of course, the man trying to be the president, Joe Biden, huge Chipperson fan. Thank you so much. He really just kind of likes to stand around and look really chill. Mr. Ex Vice President, much obliged. And of course, the biggest supporter I got, my dear friend who appeared in the video with me, the President of the United States. Thank you so much. He called me. How did you lose, Chip? And I'm like, I don't know, Mr. President. Maybe you could do something. You know, we laughed about it because he's the president. And uh, cut that, cut that part out. I broke wind. ChipChipperson.com for all those shirts. And there's even a couple of mugs if you want one. Maybe a gotcha, gotcha. Huh? How's that? Or well, maybe you just want to sit down and maybe you want to take a sip of melancholy and think about things. I make love to you with my heart. As well as my pet. I guess we can just start. Anthony's coming. He's fixing something. Can you testing? Can you hear me? Sue, can you hear me? I can hear you. Gilbert, can you hear me? Countdown. I can hear you. Okay, good. Anthony's oh, doing good. something. I don't know what's wrong, but his camera's not working. He was having technical issues. Thanks for joining me. We'll have Anthony in just a moment. Gilbert, where are you? Whose table is that? Uh, well, this uh, right now, I'm in Massachusetts. Oh, you're not even home. Are you doing a show or something? Yeah, no, no. I'm, uh, I'm staying somewhere else. Oh, you left okay. the Big Apple because you yeah. figured it would probably be safer. Yeah. Oh, okay. That's a nice table back there. Is that family or is that a hotel? <laughs> <laughs> That's family. Do we have to keep the... Oh, hold on a minute. I'm trying to admit Anthony. Oh, God damn it. What's the problem? God damn it. God damn it. He's having problems. Oh, here he is. Okay, he's in. All right, Anthony's in. Put your camera on, Ant. We can't see you. Let's see. Ask to start video. Oh, that's going to... Oh, God damn it. Start your video. Not God damn it. God damn it. Sue is from Massachusetts. I am. Hi, Gilbert. Hi. Hi, Sue. Do you well, two I'm know each other? Yeah, we met. Oh, there's Anthony. Okay. I can't hear you, Anthony. Your mic's not working. I can't hear you, Anthony. Can't hear you. His camera's on. Let me send him a message. Hold on a second. This me... is a very professional operation. I'm ready, but yeah. Anthony, can, I can't hear him. He's not talking right. He does it for no, a little, believe me. That's the look he has on his face 24 hours a day. Just kind of stupid, not knowing yeah. what he's doing. Uh, yes. Yeah. He's holding his face. He does look like a goddamn fool. And now his camera's frozen up. Oh, this is humiliating. Yeah. I hope he can make it in. Hold on. Should I send him a message? Hold on a second. I, no, don't hit make a fucking... Uh, uh, let me see here. All right, let me send him a message. Oh, God damn it. The whole operation's falling apart. Nah. That's all right. We'll just talk until he's ready. Hold on a second. Let me send him a message. Something. What's that, babe? He's studying something. Look at him. He's in deep thought. No, he's not moving. That's a photo. He's frozen. Oh. <laughs> no, no. When he thinks, uh, that's the way he gets. <laughs> no, that's very, that's very funny. Hold on a second. <laughs> Hey, we can't hear you. Oh, he's gone. Oh, God damn it. He'll be back. 
All right. See, that's another thing. He spontaneously combusts. And just disappears. So he, yes, yes. First he gets deep in thought like this, <laughs> and then he bursts into flames. And dies. And wouldn't dies, that be, yes. Wouldn't that be funny if he didn't come back in and they're like, oh, he died? I'd be like, all right, that'd be hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> that'd be the best throw you ever had. It sure would. It would so, babe, up, CBS. you guys know each other or you don't? Yeah, we've met. Yes. Okay. So what okay. have you been doing? So we cleared up that question. I like to know yeah. how everybody <laughs> knows each other. So let me ask you something. How you been keeping yourself busy, Gil? But I'm a really good interviewer. We're going to get to the bottom of stuff. Oh, here. I'll, I'll throw in two plugs and act like they came out in conversation. Please do always make it conversational. That's how I do it. Oh, okay. Well, since we were talking about it anyway, I do a podcast, Gilbert Gottfried's Amazing Colossal Podcast, and I'm on Cameo, and you could go to cameo.com slash Gilbert Gottfried. So let me ask you a question. Now, first of all, I have not yet been on the Colossal Amazing Podcast. That must have been an oversight. Uh, yes, yes. I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna de- uh, rip off some heads. Yes. When I get back to the, it, it's, uh, it's inexcusable. It's inexcusable, and I was looking forward to being a featured guest on that podcast, and I have not yet received my invitation. And in, in fact, to make it up for you, I'm quitting as host, and I'm making you host. I'm gonna. I, if you want to see your ratings go through the roof, believe me, I'm a great host. I, uh, who was your last guest? Believe me, I would have done a great job with them. Oh, last guest today. Today it was uh, two of the writers from Motown. Oh, what did they write? See, I, I would have had an easy time with them. What did yeah. they write? <laughs> okay, let's see. I have it written down because it was in the introduction. Did you know who they were? Or they just booked them. Uh, they just booked him. I've heard of Motown, though. Me too. Oh, where did our love go? Baby, 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 where did our love go? Oh, Mo- deep inside. Ooh. And, you know, I can't hide. Oh, baby love, my baby love. So the guys that wrote the Supreme songs you had on? Yes. And the Temptations. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Uh, I got sunshine on a cloudy dome. Da, 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 da. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's a good song. <laughs> that's a good song. So what did, you, what did you ask these fucking, how old were they, like 80 years old? What did you ask them? Uh, when the last time they breathed was <laughs> I mean, how many song questions can you ask, really? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I, uh, yeah, you say, uh, so, how'd you write that? Good. Oh, they yeah. were awful, weren't they? You didn't, were you happy with them? It doesn't sound like you were. No, I'm not happy with any of my guests. No, they were good. They were actually uh, good guests. So how did you come up with the sunshine on a cloudy day? Was it inspired by the weather? Go. <laughs> Oh, here's something I discussed with them. You know Jimmy Webb? Uh, uh, no, is he related to Spider? Uh, yes. <laughs> no, he, he wrote MacArthur's Park. And you know in MacArthur's Park they sing Someone Left a Cake Out in the Rain? Yes, that's a and, waste and of I, a cake. Yeah, and I always thought that was like brilliant. It was symbolism. And, it, and we had Jimmy Webb on... And he said he was in the park one day and it was raining and there was a piece of cake on one of the benches. So that was someone left a cake out and there was no poetry. Oh, it was literal. He just seen a cake. Yes, in the rain. That was it. And I all these years thought he's so brilliant. How did he come up with that line? He just seen a piece of cake in the rain. Can you imagine if it was foggy, how much different that song would have been? Yeah, oh. Someone left a cake out in the fog. That doesn't have a nice thing yeah. to it. <laughs> or someone left a cake out 
and it was uh, fair to partly cloudy. <laughs> Yeah, there was there was a chance of showers, but it never materialized. <laughs> that would not be a very good song. Oh God, and, I hope you hung up on him when he gave you the answer. Uh, and 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 it wasn't actually a cake; it was an assortment of cookies. Oh, yeah. But he thought oh. someone left an assortment of cookies out in the rain. Didn't sound as good, so he made it cake. I understand. <laughs> uh, someone left an assortment of cookies. At first, there was a light drizzle in the morning, but by then, it was cleared up. Yeah, but then it cleared up a little bit. So did you ask him, all right, listen, so you come up with that. How did you come up with that? And then he told you, like, no, I just seen a piece of cake on a bench. And did you go, oh, fuck, this is going to be a long interview. Yes, This is yes, not going to be yes. good. And he said years ago, they offered him some insane amount, like like $6 million dollars. <laughs> To be play a week in Vegas where he just plays MacArthur's Park once a night on the piano, not even singing, and he turned it down. What an asshole. Why did he turn yeah. it down? I don't know, but it's like you figure I, he's going to hit a certain age and his kids are going to put him in a really shit nursing home yep. and say, Hey, you know, had you taken that job, we could afford to put you in a nice place. But you decided against it. You yes. decided not to do it. You decided to have integrity. So now, oh. Hi. Oh. There he is. Hold on it's, a second. It's, is that Steve <laughs> Allen? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, wait, wait. Oh. <laughs> Steve <laughs> Allen. <laughs> yeah. Can you tell us about all the classical <laughs> scores that you compose? Let me tell you. Yeah. Wait, wait. You know, my wife, you know, the sister of the girl for the honeymooners. Yeah. We would hang out. <laughs> the sister of the one with the career. <laughs> <laughs> wait, Steve Allen was married to fucking something, something Meadows? Yes, uh, not Audrey Meadows. Uh, Jane. Yeah, was it Jane? Yeah. Jane Meadows. Yes, yeah. yes. Oh. You're going to get all the old information with me and Gilbert here. I <laughs> By the way, here's the trivia question. Audrey Meadows, what show was she in? <laughs> <laughs> I'm Dick and she's Fenster. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tough one. Must have been an obscure show no one heard of. Yeah, Gosh. and she she wasn't the original Betty. Do you know there was another Betty, Betty. before her? Uh oh, there was was it oh god, was it uh, uh not Francis Langford. Uh, no. Oh my god. What Mom's Mabley? No, yes. not Mom's Mabley. I used to watch Mom's Mabley come out on, on the <laughs> Murph Griffin show. And she go, hello, Merv. Hey, hello, Arthur Treacher. <laughs> Arthur Treacher. What an eclectic guest list he would have on. <laughs> <laughs> and John Lennon. And <laughs> oh, and he'd have on Monty Rock the Third. That's one that he always gets. Who's Monty Rock? Oh, uh, shit. Some guy who was only known for the Merv Griffin. Show. <laughs> I never heard of him. Dude, <laughs> you're looking like you don't remember any of this stuff. I don't know what the only one I know is Mom's Mom's Maybe because I did her stand up on uh, Brewer used to do a show called uh, Comedy Covers at Caroline's, and him and Audie Lang were the judges. And I did Mom's <laughs> Mobley, and they made fun of me. They were like, who's that? And then Mobley made an HBO special about it. Isn't that funny? Because now Artie Lang stands before judges. <laughs> 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 and it's like, wait, judge not lest ye be judged, right? <laughs> Very good, Chip. You know all the good words of wisdoms. Yes. Yeah, so what happened to your setup, man? It looks to me, there's an animal behind you. There's an animal behind you. <laughs> it's probably a, a cat. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I don't know. I was in the office. Uh, the, the thing was freezing up. I think it needed an update, but no, no problem. We're, we're here at uh, the auxiliary bridge like Kirk used to have on the Enterprise. Always another place to go and uh, get the work done. 
Well, it's good to see you. Uh, you. We were chatting for a little bit. Gilbert was trashing his other podcast guests, a bunch of old people who wrote songs. <laughs> Wait, now, Gilbert, let's see if Anthony knows the fucking answer to this. Okay. Someone left a cake out in the rain. What inspired that song? Uh, uh, MacArthur Park. <laughs> That That's right. was the song. That didn't inspire. <laughs> you know, a song doesn't inspire the lyrics to itself. <laughs> it, it is the song, MacArthur Park, yeah. But, but it, yeah, there's, uh, there's an inspiration, and I have no idea what it is. Oh, okay. It was a total badass if he said it was cookies that we went. I would have died. I <laughs> 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 Well, I had Jimmy Webb on my podcast, Gilbert Gottfried's amazing, colossal podcast, and Jimmy Webb wrote MacArthur's Park, and what the deep poetic meaning, the deep, beautiful symbolism was he was actually in the park, and there was a piece of cake on the bench that someone left, and it was raining out. <laughs> so it was like just fucking the most obvious uh, that no poetry or symbolism it's not a metaphor for anything Nothing. there's literally a cake in the rain in MacArthur Park yes yeah. I hope you said to him I hope you said to him you piece of shit Jimmy Webb you piece of shit <laughs> his, his, next, his next song was someone's blowing a man by the dumpster <laughs> What did it mean? <laughs> and the album was a homeless man is taking a shit in the alleyway. <laughs> what could it possibly mean? <laughs> Wait. Um, uh, no, another song could have been. Uh, <laughs> you got it, Chip. <laughs> <laughs> There's a guy doing, uh, what do they do, horse? <laughs> There's a guy doing horse over there. Uh, so, been... so you mean he was blowing Dan Blocker? <laughs> <laughs> that was doing horse. Doing horse. He shot a 10-gallon load in his hat. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, is that a horseman? Yeah, I am it. Uh, and and it was followed by doing hop sing. <laughs> um, uh, uh, sing. The Lone Ranger. <laughs> that was a show too, Chip. Good one. Yep, I like it riffing. I like riffing. Of course you do. <laughs> so good at it. By the way, now we're all jokesmen. We are the joke lady. We all like to tell jokes. <laughs> Now, Gilbert, you've been known yes. for doing really funny, dirty jokes. We all like to do them. So I figured it'd be fun if every one of us, like we kind of talk about jokes and stuff like that. I've written a few jokes myself. I think they're easy to write. Like, uh, uh, why did the sperm cross the road? Why? Because I put on the wrong sock this morning. <laughs> It's jerk off sock. I get it. That's yeah, yeah, on the see, internet. See, so you did get that one. Yeah, that I one was I wondering if you'd catch that—that that he jerked <laughs> off into a sock. Yeah, yeah, I, I did get that. You got that, Gilbert. Yeah. <laughs> you, you know who wrote that joke? Jimmy Webb. Yeah. He did. <laughs> and it, 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 and the, what it symbolizes. <laughs> Is him jerking off into a sock. Well, he wrote a, a song called Someone Left a Load Out on a Sock. And someone said, what does that mean, Jimmy Webb? And he goes, I jerked off on a sock. Little mug across the street. Jimmy Webb. A, oh, my God. Wasn't so let's every cookies. It was what? cookies, Anthony. It wasn't even cake. It wasn't even cake. It was cookies. No, it was cookies. But it, well, we were wondering if it had been. In fact, a mm. uh, box of assorted cookies, and the weather was fair to partly cloudy. <laughs> but the lyrics were you know, it's got to fit in the song. So, <laughs> you know, <laughs> cookies, <laughs> two syllables, cake, one, it fits better. So let's, does anybody, does anybody have a favorite joke they'd like to share with us? 
Oh, my. Does it have to be ours or can it be anybody's? No, off the wit. I read that one off the, off the old inner tubes. You know, I, mean, trust I love, me, I love Louis's the thing. joke about the lion. Louis' joke about the lion is one of my favorite jokes ever. Louis C.K.'s joke about the is lion. Is it a joke joke? Like a knock-knock joke? No, like a joke like this one. Did you hear about the constipated accountant? He couldn't budge. He had to work it out with a paper and pencil. Let's work it out with a pencil. Oh, here, I I've got a joke. I remember that one. A knock, knock. Who's, Who's there? there? Uh, it's me, and I'm jerking off in a sock. Oh, <laughs> yeah, see? <laughs> Jimmy Webb, welcome to the show. It's not funny if you call the cookies. You blow in your cookies in the sock. That would have been a callback. <laughs> uh, I got one. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, uh, a, guy, a guy goes to a doctor, and uh, the doctor checks him out, and then he says, I got some bad news for you. You only have nine to live. And the guy goes, oh, my God, what, what, nine months, nine years? He goes, eight. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to count down. It's not, he doesn't have very long left. Dude. See, see now, the way I heard the joke. <laughs> Oh my God. What? You've only got nine to live. And he goes, Oh, good. In my remaining time on the earth, I'll jerk off in a sock. <laughs> and who was <laughs> that man? <laughs> Jimmy West. That's right. <laughs> Wet cake eating sock cucker. That piece of garbage. <laughs> What, babe? I didn't hear you. What did one hot dog say to the other hot dog? What did one hot dog say to the other hot dog? Um, Hi, what was it? Okay. Hi, Frank. That's okay. vulgar, Sue. So that's <laughs> vulgar. <laughs> She totally told a joke wrong. <laughs> it, the joke actually goes, what did one hot dog say to the other hot dog? What? He said, I'm jerking off into a sock. Oh, my God. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Very vulgar. Oh, oh Jesus <laughs> <laughs> All right, what did one hot dog say to the other hot dog? Because they're called Frank, so it would be they were called Frank. See, I, I like to right. explain it because a lot of times uh, the crowd doesn't always get the joke, so I like to explain it. Uh, always the that. best to explain uh, a joke, yes. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Uh, uh. Who, and and you got jerking one? off, I'll, I should explain, is when you're rubbing your dick and you close your eyes and think about that you're fucking someone and then you make yourself come. That's right. You make head. a comma. Yeah. Yeah. It dribbles yeah. out all over you. Your, pe oh, your pecker has a stroke all over the side of that, your hand. That's what Dan Blocker used to do <laughs> yeah. with Lauren Green. <laughs> And hop sing with the heat in the other corner with Lil Joe. <laughs> and he go, oh, Rito Joe. <laughs> Wait, and the Lone Ranger. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, Rito Joe. Um, hold on a minute. The car rides ate Chinese food every night. <laughs> oh, oh, Panair Roberts. Oh. <laughs> Panair, your wig got stuck in my walk. <laughs> <laughs> it burn up. Wait, and then they'd watch the Beverly Hillbillies. Old <laughs> 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 show I've ever been on. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck, that's I'm just riffing. It's fun. <laughs> His son Dirk Blocker was on Baba Black Sheep. Oh, <laughs> yeah. The dare you to knock this battery off my shoulder. That, that oh, creep. what? What Jacana. was? What was that show? Was it? It? Oh God! It was based on Mash. That Perno Robin. Oh, after Mash. After it was uh, Trapper, Trapper John, <laughs> MD. 
Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, Trapper John Trapper MD. John MD, yep. So it, it was supposed to be that Alan Alda went bald and was a surgeon. <laughs> no, it was Trapper John, the one who left early. It was Trapper John. Well, yeah, Trapper John. They used to try to make it more like MASH because sometimes Trapper would be on the phone and be like, Hey, Hawkeye! How you doing? <laughs> like, like, not him. Alan Alda's not on a phone somewhere. Like when yeah. Chrissy left through his company, they're like, I oh, got Chrissy's on the phone. <laughs> Chrissy's here. It's like, no, she's not. <laughs> and, and when they did the third of the Meet the Parents films, <laughs> yeah. like Dustin Hoffman was like on the phone. Hey, I'm in Hawaii right now. I can't <laughs> wait to get to the wedding. But right now, there's a hula contest going on. <laughs> yeah. oh, they fooled everyone with that one. Uh, yes. You, <laughs> I thought he was the, right there with everyone at the movie. They always put him on the phone yeah. like they're on the show. Right, Chip. And it it's just comes off as cheap and phony. <laughs> Could you imagine if they did that when good times after the car accident? Uh, <laughs> James! James, how are you on the phone? You had an accident. Oh, now, do you remember when James dies? <laughs> yes. And uh, and she's Florida. That was her name, right? Florida. Yes, Florida, Florida Evans. Evans. She was keeping her uh, uh, being being brave and right. not showing that she's hurt. But then she either throws it down. Or accidentally breaks a mixing bowl. Yes, and what does bowl. she say? Damn, damn, damn. That's it. That's it. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Shaking, yeah, shaking the fish. Damn, yes. damn, damn. <laughs> and then she goes, I'm Florida and my husband has passed away. <laughs> I don't think that was the next line, but. <laughs> James. She said, damn, James just jerked off in a side. <laughs> yeah. Someone left my husband out in a wreck. <laughs> Ah, shit. Do you remember? <laughs> Gilbert, I love him. <laughs> there was an episode, uh, a very special <laughs> episode of Different Strokes. Oh yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. And yep. and his, he, they go out drunk driving, and oh, they get I into a crash. One. Oh no, that was the this one. This isn't with the, the guy. one where the guy fun touches the little Dudley's penis in the tub, is it? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, it was the guy yeah. from WKRP. That's yeah. it. That's yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. Gordon Jump. Yeah. So that was the one with the child molester. <laughs> yeah. Where where he wants to molest. Dudley. <laughs> Gary Coleman. Because every good sitcom in the '80s needed child molestation. <laughs> <in it>. Yep. <laughs> and and so, but there was another one, another very important episode, <laughs> where uh, watch it, Todd Bridges uh -huh. is friends with this other kid, and the other kid likes to go drunk driving. Uh oh. And so they're oh. both drinking and driving. Rodney Rodney King. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I thought you were gonna say Danger Field. I was gonna do my. Sure, I don't care. I will do it and, later. Go ahead. And but then they find out, Mister Mister Drummond gets a call. Your son's in the hospital, and he comes uh -oh. to the hospital, and uh, Todd uh, Bridges is there with a tiny, the <laughs> tiny movie TV band aid on his head. And so he survived the crash, and he says, how's my friend doing? Uh -oh. And they said, he's dead. And, and he says to Mr. Drum, and he starts crying, and he goes, look at me. I'm crying like a little boy. <laughs> and, and Mr. Drum says, no, son, you're crying like a grown man. <laughs> oh, that's good. You almost got me choked up. And I thought... And I think there wasn't any music at the end. Oh, they just yeah. had the names. The credits, the no music, yes. and just the credits yes. was a staple <laughs> of the special <laughs> episode. No, but you're forgetting. You're forgetting what happened. That was when 
He goes, I'm, you're crying like a man. And Mrs. Garrett ran in. And she said, remember when I used to be the housekeeper? And he goes, yeah, but not now. <laughs> went, damn, damn. <laughs> yeah, Mrs. Garrett went, damn, damn. Uh, and when Mr. Just... Drummond says, how did he crash? And uh, Todd Bridges says, well, all I remember before we crashed, I was jerking off in a sock. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, no, um, <laughs> Wait, is that the episode where they molest Dudley in the tub? Oh, that's the other one. <laughs> yes. That's where, where they... they jerk off Gary Coleman. <laughs> oh. Is that... just like a finger and a thumb. <laughs> <laughs> Another special episode with no music at the end. Yeah, and then Mr. All, B you, see, all you see here is the audience going, like, oh. Ah, oh. oh, yes, yes. <laughs> but then Mr. They Brady did the crossover, sitcom crossover. Mike Brady just ran in and went, here, there's a smorgasbord back here. And they went, no, no, it's not. wrong episode, sir. <laughs> uh, Jesus Mr. Christ. Mr. Brady's impression, Chip. What's that, babe? Do you Rodney Dangerfield impression? I'll get to it, that but we got to do some. Imp I want everybody to do impressions. I don't want to just do an impression because I'm too good. All right. Gilbert, who do you do? Okay, I do Rodney Dangerfield. Oh, God damn yeah, it, Gil. Yeah, <laughs> hey, I like to jerk off in a sock. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll tell you, my wife was so mad when I got killed in a car accident, she dropped the mixing bowl. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> yeah, I said, I seen a hot dog named Frank. He said, eh. <laughs> You're crying like a grown man. Yeah. Yeah. Someone left my jizz sock in the rain, all right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey. I'm hey, going to go in the back. Go ahead. Hey, hey, I'm growing. I'm blowing. <laughs> I'm blowing <laughs> long green. Yeah. Hey, hop sing is jerking off on horse. Now I know how to call him horse, all right? <laughs> okay. Hey, I don't get no respect at all. Oh, good one, Chip. <laughs> oh my god. Hey, I don't get no respect. Uh, <laughs> you guys want another joke? Yeah. Why not? Why not? <laughs> okay. What does a nearsighted gynecologist and a puppy have in common? Nearsighted gynecologist and a puppy. Go ahead. <laughs> a wet nose. <laughs> All right, that's, that's a Be, good joke. because he sticks his nose in her cunt. <laughs> yup. See, see, you told the joke wrong. I'm the sorry. Punchline, <laughs> the punchline is you turn to the audience and scream out, "Cause he sticks his nose in her cunt." <laughs> But then I would probably go, no, not the gynecologist, the dog. The oh. dog put his nose in the lady's cunt. That would be the and twist. What? That would be the twist at the end. That would be the I twist at the end. You bring them down and, one and, road and they twist it to the other end. They don't know what's coming. And when I heard Yafit Koto, uh, not Yafit Koto, <laughs> when I heard Yakov Shmirnov, uh, Yakov Shmirnov told a joke in America you stick your nose in cunt. In Russia, cunt sticks its nose in you. <laughs> <laughs> what a country. What a cunt. <laughs> what a cunt. Three. <laughs> <laughs> I changed you know, my name you to know Yakov. It. <laughs> it was Jerkov in a sock. <laughs> Wait, P would probably say, yo, because he's Russian, I'm going to do like a joke about the cake in the rain. Watch. Uh -huh. 
Someone left my vodka in the rain. Anything else? Hey, hey, you know where you could get a fresh cunt from the cunt tree? <laughs> <laughs> In America, cunts grow on trees. <laughs> In Russia, the cunt grows on you. <laughs> <laughs> But seriously, folks, America is the greatest country. <laughs> he does an act now in France and where he just like, it's total over-the-top patriotism. Uh, so schmaltzy. That's if you if you missed going to the Brady brunch to watch Greg Brady sing Johnny Bravo tunes. Oh, yeah. I, I've been to the Brady brunch. It's great. It's Peter, Bobby, and Greg standing over a coffin going, how did we miss this? <laughs> How did we not know? <laughs> Sue, God give us damn. another joke. You told I'm us the hot dog one. Right. I'm still thinking about the callbacks with the jerk off. If you could do the jerk off with it looked like cake in the rain. There's so many callbacks that you guys could do with these. <laughs> icing, sure. Yeah, Go find a vulgar joke. joke. Looks like cake in the rain. And Mrs. Garrett was holding it. You could do 50,000 callbacks there. And do with your Russian joke, you could do something about rushing. It's not rushing. It's Russian. But it's in the words of Rodney Dangerfield, damn, damn, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she dropped the Nixon ball, that clumsy bitch. Uh. <laughs> she was making me some potatoes, and she dropped the Nixon ball in shiznit. Hey, who, I, who, I get who no Janet Jackson with the iron, all right? Yeah. <laughs> uh. Hey, I get no respect. <laughs> Last night I had my nose in a cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I blew it apart with some dynamite. <laughs> 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 Uh, I love how James James Evans just go, Flood, I'm getting that big promotion tomorrow. So let's take all our money and have a party. <laughs> and then, you know the promotion ain't coming. <laughs> Every single time. Wouldn't it be uh, better, James, if we just kept the money in the bank? Uh, no, nah, they'd have a party, invite everyone over. And then some horrible white guy would come to the door. We're sorry, Mr. Evans, but the promotion couldn't go through. That's and then right. He threatened them, and it, life goes on. Then and then Bookman would tree. come up. Remember, Mister Bookman would come up, but he would never fix anything. <laughs> no. Oh, is oh. that Johnny Brown? Oh, Buffalo yeah. Butt. That's right. That was funny back then to call someone Buffalo Butt. Yeah, now it's vulgar and it's shaming. Right, now it's body shaming. Yeah, I don't like that type of talk. No. J.J. No. Walker sexually harassed me at, uh, at the Laugh Factory in Vegas. Who did? J.J. Walker. Did he really? What did he do? I don't know. When I got off stage or something, he said disgusting things about me from stage after I got Oh, stage. man. What, oh, was he on stage, though? Yeah, he came on after me. Oh, he didn't say it to you, though. He just said, "It looks like cake." Damn. <laughs> damn, damn. Fuck yeah! How do, gents? Foot Chipperson here. Did you know that two out of three guys at one point in their life will experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're thirty-five? I know what you're thinking. Ew. Now, the best way to prevent hair loss, do something about it while you still have hair left. Now, you used to have to go to a doctor's office for your hair loss prescription. Now, thanks to Keeps, K-E-E-P-S, pretty easy to spell, but I just wanted to show you that I knew how to spell it. You can visit a doctor online and get your hair loss medication delivered right to your home. Unless you like going to the doctor's office, then ignore this message. Oh, but Chippa said, I like sitting there waiting for an hour. And then I love standing in line at the pharmacy. Well, then you got no business listening to this. However, if you don't like going to the doctor and you hate standing in line at the pharmacy, then you're on the right track. They make it easy. And they deliver your medication every three months so you can say goodbye to those stupid pharmacy checkout lines and the awkward doctor's visit while he's picking at your head. Ugh. Ugh, a little worse than last time. 
making bad jokes, rubbing your head, foot, 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 foot. Who needs that? It's garbage. Keeps offers generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss products out there. Now you may have tried them before, but probably never for this price. Prevention is the key. I say that all the time. People are always like, thank you for saying it, chip us in. But what do you want to do? Wait until all your hair is gone? And then all of a sudden you got to try wearing a wig and looking foolish? Keeps treatment takes typically between four to six months to see results. So it's important to act fast. The sooner you start using Keeps, the more hair you're going to save. What are you waiting for? You're just sitting here looking at me. Oh, Chipperson, you make perfect sense. Of course I do. Find out why Keeps has more five-star reviews than any of its competitors and more than 100,000 men. Trust Keeps for their hair loss prevention medication. Keeps treatment start at just 10 bucks a month. You don't have 10 bucks a month? Of course you do. Plus, for a limited time, you can get your first month for free. If you're ready to take action and prevent hair loss, go to keeps.com slash chip. I'll spell it for you. K-E-E-P-S dot com slash chip. You receive your first month of treatment for free. What do you got to lose? K-E-E-P-S dot com slash chip. Fuck yeah! If he said that to you in 1860, <laughs> he wasn't even alive. <laughs> exactly. Right it makes no sense. <laughs> Did you say anything to him after? Yes. What'd you say? He didn't take too kindly to it, but you know me. I don't give a fuck. What'd you say? I said, JJ, don't talk like that about me after I get off stage. And what'd he say? He told the manager, told the manager and then the manager told me. You know, <laughs> Did you get in trouble? I probably got in trouble by my mouth like I always get in trouble. That happened to <laughs> me one time. <laughs> oh, did who, it who it you? I was working with Skippy from Family Ties and then he went on stage and insulted my sensuality after. <laughs> <laughs> Skippy get, from Family Ties. Yes, I went to the manager and I said, I don't care for what he said. And he said, it's, so, it's, it's one show. It's a Tuesday at Poor Billy's. Now drive him home and shut up. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. Was he funny, Skippy from uh, Family Ties? I have no memory of it. I just made that up. <laughs> oh, okay. But then the next night they fired Skippy and got Screech. <laughs> Another <laughs> fine stand-up comic. <laughs> No. Boy, if stand-up comedy isn't the in case of emergency break glass occupation, I don't know what the fuck is. That's right. People think they could step in and do it like guys like us, but they can't. That's right, Chip. What, Ladies babe? I can't hear you. We can't. No one can now. Cuomo just said H N A on the end up stay in New York City right now. Yeah, oh. no, no stand-up. Even yeah. outside. Yeah, even outside. But I thought they were that? doing outside shows. What if you just yeah, tell a joke on the sidewalk? The unemployment. They want us to die. They hate us, the like comedians. They but what us. if you oh. want to do? What if you want to do a joke out? Like I would do this, right? I would say like, "There's money here," and when people gathered around, I would get a mic and go, Aha, "I'm just getting you," you know, and I'd start <laughs> doing my jokes. But then the Corona police would come and get you. Hey, listen, I like telling jokes. I, Gilbert, you ever make up a joke, like just create one from scratch? Wow. Uh, yes, good. yes. Let's create uh, one from scratch together. This will okay. be a project. All four of us will create a joke from scratch. Who owns okay. the IP? Who owns the content? You, because it's your <laughs> We could, yeah. of course. But I mean, obviously, everybody wants to see Chip is in much blast. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Oh, by the way, Gilbert, I got to tell you, uh, I did not get a congratulations from you, and I feel like I should have got due to my oh, performance being so good. The TBS yes. uh, laugh. Yes, uh, I, I feel it was political. <laughs> <laughs> it was. Yes. <laughs> Gilbert said a lot of things. What, babe? They're too intimidated by you. They don't like good talent. They only like mediocre. They don't like you to be superb. That's right. That's why they didn't let me win it. That's exactly right. it. But they said that Gilbert had said too many things that were anti-Semitic. And I'm like, 
They said we can't allow his anti-Semitism. I said, you know me, I love everybody. And we all laughed. You know, it was good natured. <laughs> and and my because I opened up with why did the chicken cross the road? Because he just <laughs> killed Christ. <laughs> 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 that's right and that's why they didn't care for that <laughs> uh, that is a goddamn funny joke yeah it sure is even though i don't i happen to like that type of, of humor of course that type of humor is not where you come from Jim. no it's not i believe that everyone it's all inclusive humor and everybody should enjoy let's create a joke from scratch let's show now, them how now, it's done where, that's not where you come from but you come from florida <laughs> Damn, damn, damn. <laughs> Wait. Oh, was she sad? Yeah, she was. Because she you know that James was putting a fat pecker into her. You know that he was giving her a Chicago Projects fat pecker. <laughs> My mother used to watch that show and go, oh God, he must rip her apart, Chipper. <laughs> Uh, you think he ever uh, us? <laughs> I don't like that type of language. <laughs> did he ever sneak up to Walona's place? You think he snuck up there to maybe satisfy Walona? He probably did. He he probably one time. I bet you that's where the song from Florida said, "Where you going?" He goes, "I'm moving on up, moving on up." <laughs> and then <laughs> Janet Dubois stole it. <laughs> yeah, she He's sang so that fine. song. Yeah. <laughs> Remember the song? Oh, uh, something That's, doesn't burn on the grill. Grits don't yeah. burn on the grill. Took yeah, a yeah. whole lot of trying. No, yeah. not trying. Yeah. Took, yeah. took a whole lot of try in. Oh. That's right. <laughs> Three <laughs> syllables. I ended up in the big league, and there ain't uh, nothing wrong with that. Yeah, yeah. My, my grandmother used to love that song. She would sit there and listen, and I would run around the room yelling, banging pots and pans. And she would get very angry because I would spurl her song. Right, I remember that. Yeah. You, you, remember, oh. you remember when uh, uh, when <clears throat> Sherman Hemsley would go into the building where they were moving on up, and the last scene in the intro, I'm sure the doorman and the other people in the apartment loved that he walked in the door and he's going like this. <laughs> <laughs> They're all like, oh, Jesus Christ. And then you remember the sequel to that where the song was, it was a show about all the other residents and the song went, we're moving on out. <laughs> <laughs> Did you know that Louise was much older than him by 20 years? Wow. <laughs> I used to do, I used to do the Jefferson's trivia in the living room when <laughs> Lamar and Reggie were over and them and Ma would drink it during the commercials. I would do Jefferson's trivia. Oh, so you know a lot about the Jeffersons, I, I guess, right? Yep, more than any man should know. <laughs> yes, I believe that. <laughs> what and was that the was, uh, keeping your head above water? That's good uh, times. Yo, no, that was oh, yeah, good times. Sorry. Temporary layoffs. Yeah. Good times. Easy like, credit good to time. rip off. Good times. <laughs> Scratching and surviving. <laughs> And then uh, the thing, bah, 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 bah. I don't know what they said on that part. Do you know James Evans was only six years older than JJ playing his father? Wow. Yeah, so they kind of grayed up his hair a little bit. See, I heard that, but I heard he was five and a half years older. <laughs> See, I didn't know that. Yeah, I, I, well, I, I think what's her name? I always forget her name. Uh, yeah, Mary Ms. Maitland? No, Mrs. <laughs> Mrs. Robinson. Mrs. Oh. Who the oh. fuck played her again? Mrs. Oh. Robinson and Bancroft. <laughs> and Bancroft. <laughs> and Bancroft was like five years older than Dustin Hoffman. Oh. When he was like the innocent college kid and she was the uh -huh. old lady. And then she was driving her car and she hit him and she's like, you look like shit. And he's like, I'm walking here. <laughs> 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 oh, Mrs. Robbins, I thought you meant from Lost in Space. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> when Dustin Hoffman went after Mrs. Robinson. 
Yeah. <laughs> and John Robinson beat the shit out of him. And the robot cock blocked it. <laughs> hey, danger, danger. And he tugged on Will's little pecker. <laughs> Mr. Robinson, someone is fucking your wife. <laughs> Warning. I used oh, to love that show. In, in Our Forbidden Planet. Yes. Is where uh, Robbie the Robot Robbie the Robot. From. Yeah, yeah. There is a line. This I'm not making up. Robbie the Robot goes into a room, and the actress is there. And he and, jerks and, off into a sock. Not, not <laughs> far from it. Not far from it. his <laughs> line. See the movie, and I swear to God, the line he says it's, excuse me, I was giving myself an oil job. Oh. That's the actual line in the movie. And you so, know what that meant. Yeah, that yeah. of course. They were having some laughs back there in between <laughs> fucking young starlets in the production trailer. For holding auditions <laughs> yeah, yeah. for a part that's not in the movie. <laughs> <laughs> Did you hear about what happened with Shirley yeah. Temple? Where she went at MGM. She it's already to, good. Yeah. <laughs> Shirley Temple uh, it goes to MGM with her mom. And um, what's his name? Uh, Metro. Mr. Mayor. Temple. Yeah, yeah. Mayor there. What's his name? John Mayer. Okay. <laughs> he, he, he tells the mom to hang out while Shirley goes with this production guy. And the production guy, one of the producers, uh, it was actually one of the producers of... Uh, um, uh, uh, what the fuck was that? Uh, All the friends? Other fucking. Sex in uh, the City? Uh, Wizard, Wizard of Oz. Wizard of Oz. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Sorry. So he, he gets her in there. He pulls his dick out. She's 12 years old. <laughs> he pulls his dick out <laughs> and she starts laughing at him. Because she's just a kid. She don't even know what the fuck it is. And then uh, she, she, he tells her to get out of the room. And that was it for Shirley Temple at MGM. Like, like the fucking, they were like, first he said something like, you got to lose that baby fat. <laughs> I, I don't want those dimples. <laughs> Wait a minute. So they could have had Shirley Temple at MGM if it wasn't for this one piece of garbage. Did she go somewhere else? Yeah, I think she went to like uh, Paramount or something. Did I she ever know. do a movie? Who is she? Oh, Shirley Temple did plenty of movies. You should see The Little Rebel. It's hilarious. She plays she plays a, the daughter of a, this uh, rebel soldier. Yes. And, oh. and he lives on a plantation. And there's nothing inappropriate or racist no, in the entire no. movie. Oh, that's a relief because now I'm going to watch it. <laughs> and, Literally, and Shirley Temple in blackface. <laughs> cancel cancel her <laughs> so, yeah she should be canceled cancel shirley temple remember on the good and ship canceled, lollipop they canceled one of her tits in 1972 but she oh. lasted until 2004 <laughs> and and when she laughed at the guy's dick she said even I've seen bigger dicks, <laughs> and I'm three. <laughs> and, and she tap danced out. <laughs> That's a terrible story. It is a terrible story. I feel oh, worse for him, strange, though. Strange I feel, place back then. I feel worse for him because he had to tell people, not only did I lose Shirley Temple, but a 12-year-old laughed at my Pekka. <laughs> what a bad day for him. <laughs> he lost an icon, and she laughed at his Pekka. And oh, then, <laughs> then all of the munchkins from Wizard of Oz were laughing at my dick. <laughs> Judy Garland threw up barbiturates all over my dick. <laughs> oh, she played Dorothy. Yes, yes. I'm sure he got a piece of her, right? <laughs> the Wizard of Oz. Of despicable guys. Uh, they are still to this day. Hollywood hasn't changed. All it probably guys. hasn't. I wouldn't know. Have you, you ever met creepy? Like have you ever and met creepy producers, Sue? Any creepy? Yeah. Pro you have? Oh, and. I had a comic grab, no lie, I was in the sound booth at the old Gotham. I'm not going to say the guy's name. Okay. But we were watching the show. I was emceeing, and he was standing beside me. And we were watching the show. I was waiting to have the next comic come on so I could bring him on. And all of a sudden, I felt somebody just, like, squeeze my bum like that. Like, like a muffin. Like, it was a muffin. Like, whoosh. 
And I was like, what the fuck are you doing? He's like, I'm sorry. I just wanted to do that for a long, long time. Oh. Did you yell at him? Well, yeah, but it happened all, I mean, that's what happens all the time when you do stand up. You have to tell him to stop it, but what are you going to do? You're going to go to the club owner? He won't let you work there. That's how it goes. That's right. See? Gilbert, you Not owe fair. Sue an apology. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Wouldn't that be funny if it was Gilbert and I just I, did it right here? <laughs> <laughs> Somebody, oh. I'm not mentioning any names. I got it to finger your pussy. And after the munchkins left the producer's office, the cowardly lion grabbed the producer's balls and went, put him off, put him off. <laughs> Heard large in that? <laughs> yes, he did. <laughs> it's in his autobiography. <laughs> uh, you hear Buddy Epson was supposed to be the uh, Tin Man in yes. that movie, but he was allergic to the silver paint, and a munchkin caught him jerking off into a sock. <laughs> <laughs> they found a silver painted sock and cum. <laughs> you, you know what I heard? What, Chip? <laughs> I heard Buddy Epson went on to bigger and other things. He did. Barnaby Jones. <laughs> and then the cowardly lion ran its paw through the producer's <laughs> To the producer's pubic hair and said, If I was king of the forest, you like 12 year old boys. That's what you like. Oh, 12 year old boys. Oh, Jesus Christ. I would. Oh, Jesus Christ. And did, did he put it in his mouth and say, Head off, head on, puff. <laughs> he never said huff and puff. Oh, <laughs> oh, Chip! God damn it! I was you're trying to joy. riff. Damn. Yeah, you're riffing. I can riff. What about our joke? Let's do our joke, no? Yeah, oh. we didn't start our joke because I believe me, I like to tell a little tale, you know. Uh, all right, Gil, but you start the joke. What should we tell the joke about? It's like improv. <laughs> this is improv. Let's, let's create a so joke. If yeah, I, if I, I need tag a location. You, do you freeze? Yeah. <laughs> I need an object, a sock. <laughs> I need a place to park. Okay, we need a place, a okay. cunt. Okay. okay. <laughs> a cunt. Okay, inside of a cunt is where the joke starts. <laughs> All right, so we're inside right, of a cunt. Right, right, right away, when you say inside of the cunt, comes to my head that inside the whale. Remember the little boy that was inside the whale? What was that? What was Jonah. That? Jonah. So that's or Pinocchio. The we're going to make the visuals going to be it, somebody chipper like Jonah inside the whale. Chipper's inside the cunt. That's the setup. In, in, inside of the cunt was the sequel to MASH. Yes, I, it was. <laughs> Pernell Roberts. And they finally explain why they call their hot lips hula hair. <laughs> no, yeah, no, after MASH was the big hit with all the funniest people. Yep. Gary Berghoff. William yes. Christopher, Harry Morgan. Uh, yeah. That's what I wanted to see. Uh, the priest, the old guy, and the fucked up hand guy. <laughs> That's right. That's what oh, I wanted to see. God. Yeah, yeah. They all went back together. To yeah, he was he was always holding a clipboard or yeah, something on mesh. He had one of those Shriners Hospital kid hands. <laughs> <laughs> so they had to kind of hide it with a clipboard. Wait a minute. No, he Gary Berghoff. He wasn't in After Mash. Jamie Farr was in After Mash because Gary Berghoff did a show called Walter, but it was spelled W A oh. like with the Mash stuff in between yes. it. Yes, Chip, you are right. Oh. Damn, skip it. Damn, Could skip be it. The <laughs> worst, the worst uh, sequel from Mash. Walter. Yeah, and they spelt it with the little asterisk things. 
Yeah. Oh, how bad was that? I watched that when I stayed home with a fever. I was watching Walter reruns. Oh, yeah. I like the pilot episode where he tries to finger a girl and she (laughs) runs through the wall like a cartoon character (laughs) from his disgusting bony digits. Yeah. And And, and first, first she makes that sound. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, she left curly smoke behind her. And fucking... <laughs> Wait, this sounds like a cartoon. Oh, Jim, you are perceptive. <laughs> All right, hold on. So we're Fuck inside off, of a cunt oh. looking out. Okay, we're hanging out inside a cunt like the little boy Jonah in, in the whale. In, Inside of a cunt looking out was a lyric from Jimmy Webb. <laughs> I'm on the inside. He ran inside of a cunt because it started raining. That's right. <laughs> at the park, only a cunt. You're at the cunt. That's what we'll call it. Yeah. Okay, so wait. So, Anthony, what happens next? All right. So we're in the cunt. Uh, <laughs> two Jews walk into a cunt. <laughs> and, and one of them is jerking off into a sock. <laughs> into and, a, a yarmulke. <laughs> <laughs> and then one hot, wait, one hot dog says to the other, we're not welcome here. <laughs> they're not kosher. <laughs> of course. I love riffing. I mean. Oh, Chip, you're so good at it. I sit at the doctor's <laughs> office, right? And he oh, goes, yeah, yeah. Uh, doctor walks in and says, I got some bad news. I'm afraid you're going to have to stop masturbating. So the guy goes, I don't understand, Doc. Uh, why? And the doctor goes, because I'm trying to examine you. Uh, I didn't see that coming, see? <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, joke. I, I, I think the way the joke goes is you're going to have to stop masturbating because those are my new socks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still wearing them. <laughs> yeah, that's what Stephen Hawking would say because he couldn't stop you. No, he couldn't. They're my new socks. They have congratulation Mets for your World Series victory on them. Not I, a bit I of think- wear. <laughs> Stephen Hawking said, I'm masturbating into a sock. (laughs) I get no respect. (laughs) Damn. 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 Yeah, we're moving on up. (laughs) Well, moving, probably not. Someone's pushing us on up. Uh, (laughs) Keeping your head above water (laughs) is necessary to stay alive. (laughs) Oh, this is a fun riff. Let's riff about. Oh, you just took call what we should riff on. Let's riff about. So what was your favorite show from the 70s? Go. My favorite show from the 70s, David and Goliath. Oh, I like wow. Davy and Goliath. That, yeah. that, that's where God was always, uh, God was always like it would used to be. Uh, I was lost in the park and I was so afraid, but. God always knew <laughs> where you were. <laughs> the father, yeah, the father was always giving him the, the God angle. Oh, yep. yeah. I was just ass fucked on my way home from school. <laughs> God wants you to be ass fucked, Davy. Why would God do that, Dad? I don't know, Davy. He works in mysterious ways. And then <laughs> Goliath ran out into the street. Yeah. And was struck by a vehicle. Oh, it's terrible. <laughs> and, and there was that one episode where Goliath, oh, no. where, where Goliath says, <laughs> God, God just fucked up singing the ass. 
<laughs> what was his sister's name? Sally. Oh, Sally. Sally. Right, right. I thought it was Susie or Sally. Sally. Yeah, yeah, Sally. <laughs> Sally makes me lick peanut butter off of her <laughs> vagina, Davey. Well, do you remember the Davey and Goliath where they sang someone left a Bible out in the rain and they all wept? <laughs> <laughs> Goliath sounded like Club Soda Kenny. <laughs> Gee, I don't know, Davey. Don't do it, Andrew. <laughs> yeah, that was a fucked up show. That was, as a kid, you're kind of like, ah, it's claymation, so I'll watch it. But you always knew there was something a little creepy going on. I but, always uh, liked I it. I liked your standard issue Bugs Bunny, Warner Brothers cartoons kind of a thing. You All right. See, th back then there was nothing to choose from. Yeah. So Davy and Goliath came on. Uh, I gotta watch Davy and I Goliath. Watch <laughs> this <Yeah>. shit. <laughs> <laughs> I tell you, back then we only had a couple of channels. Believe me, <laughs> the people who are young don't understand how lucky they got her. <laughs> God, he just fucking infuriates me with that. <laughs> <laughs> like everyone's relating, like right, right. <laughs> Oh, I hate it. It's the truth. <laughs> hey, how come you didn't? I sent you a gift, Anthony. You didn't text me back. Oh, yes. I fucking totally forgot. It was, um, yeah, it was, it was very a poem. annoying. Oh, good. Okay. It was a poem. Yeah. Did it bother you? It bugged the shit out of me. Everything okay, good. Everything about it. The fucking background, his stupid face. All right, cool. My friend Craig did a poem, and I sent yeah, it to Craig. Anthony. Craig Schinkel. So listen, Gilbert, let's talk about that table. Have you eaten any meals there? <laughs> what behind you? No. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> ate Florida's cunt. <laughs> James Gilbert. <laughs> and then she and said, Damn, damn. <laughs> you better than James. <laughs> Wait, and then JJ came in and said, um, uh, wait. It's oh, so good and, and when, when I was eating her cunt, I started to cry. And I said, look at me. I'm crying like a little boy. And they said, no, but you're eating pussy like a little boy. <laughs> he should have smacked him in the face in the hospital and go, you can act like a man. What's the matter with you? <laughs> yeah. Give me the old Johnny Fontaine. <laughs> you're crying like a man. Uh, no, you're not. <laughs> oh, God, <brother. laughs> Men don't cry. Sue, do you like a man who cries? Does that turn you off? Well, it depends on how much crying. Like, how about if he's watching like a Sanka blubbering? A Sanka yeah. <laughs> Were you going to say watching a Sanka commercial? Yeah, I was. I haven't even seen a Sanka commercial in years. But they're sad? Yeah, they are. Well, how about Maxwell House? Something you oh, can count what on. Sorry. What, babe? Yeah. Soldiers. Those are the ones where they do the Christmas ones with the Marines coming home. And oh, soldiers. that's right. Right, right. They be, and they'd always tell the story. Your son's coming home today. Yes. It's going to be a great, great, yeah, yeah. The best part of waking up is come in your sock. <laughs> 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 they didn't say that. No, oh, of course You not. know the commercials I fucking hated were the Mentos commercials. <laughs> yeah, those, those were, were so fucking horrible the fresh maker yeah yeah because they were some foreign shit we don't quite get here i don't yeah, remember like them made in holland or yeah, something yeah, yeah. Like and they would hold shit. up they they would like uh they do something crazy and then they'd hold up the mentos like kind of a triumphant fuck you <laughs> and everyone would shake their heads and admire them for it <laughs> It I was don't get such, it. Such a uh, they did like about fifty of those. Oh, yes. it's such shit commercials. Yeah, yeah. At the end, the guy they don't have to deal with the. Uh, this is your brain on drugs commercials. 
Remember oh, those were good. Those were PSAs. Oh, with, the, with the two eggs, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they were a, a, lot of, a lot more PSAs back then. Yeah, and they'd say, this is your brain on drugs. I said, well, don't get me started on it. I'm hungry. I'm having breakfast, you know. <laughs> yeah. There was an uh, old when I was a kid, there were ones about, like, wearing a fucking seatbelt. And I think uh, they had an actor, and he would say, like, hey, make sure you belt your wife. And built your kids, too. And everyone laughed because, you know, they meant seatbelt. But, of course, back it in the day. It sounded like punch. It sounded like she uh, she was late with dinner. <laughs> and I so. hated the one <laughs> where he goes, why don't you belt your cunt? I mean, what did that have to do with Mentos? <laughs> nothing. And I, I, it had nothing to do with anything. <laughs> I was waiting for Gilbert to say punch her in the cunt. I was waiting for him to say belt her. Oh, God. Punch your belt, your cunt. <laughs> and then he would shove Mentos into it. There's the rest of our joke. There we go. There's a little man sitting in a cunt, right. and he's got Mentos. Mentos, and you tip her head back, and they'd come out like a Pez dispenser. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just sh shove them in her cunt. <laughs> <laughs> we have to beep the C word out. Oh, no. Let me put in a, potatoes. We're going to oh, say that go. instead. So through the well, whole episode, a, we're going to dub that in potatoes. A lot of, lot of beeps. <laughs> yep. A lot of potatoes. Potatoes. Dubbing dub pussy. Do <laughs> <laughs> you dub in clam? No, oh, clam is vulgar. That is such a rank one. Clam? Clam. Yeah, yeah. it's just wow. really... <laughs> That's Boston, that's right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, that's totally Boston written all over. Right? Yeah. I remember Reggie one time oh, took his, he had uh, four fingers and he rubbed them across my face and they were wet and it smelled like he had been kind of like fishing around in the bottom of a bucket or something. And he goes, this is your mama's clam, boy. <laughs> Holy it's funny. Fuck. The word is very funny. That is terrible. <laughs> oh boy, your mom was clam boy. Yeah, That's it smelled like he bad. was. Smelled like he was fussing around in the bottom of a tackle bucket. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> an, old, an old tackle bucket. <laughs> Everything's got dried scales on it. Yeah, <laughs> it just but, it, but it was wet and it was slimy across my face. <laughs> yeah. I'm not joking. I'm gonna throw up. Does that bother you? Oh my god, what if I threw up right now? It smelled like the bottom of an it smelled like the bottom of a tackle bucket across my nose. It was bad too, because I could what? feel it on his nail. It was wet and it hit my tongue. What what did it feel like when Gary Bergdorf would finger her? <laughs> Oh, my God, I just <laughs> oh, with his curly fries fingers. <laughs> and, yeah. and he would still be holding the clipboard. <laughs> <laughs> the clipboard? <laughs> Trying to hide his fucked up fingers. <laughs> yeah. <while> he's fingering. <laughs> Put his dumb fucking jester, jester shoe <laughs> fingers inside of a cooter. <laughs> his, his George from Otto and George hand. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus. Wait. Oh, and then he would say, um, choppers. Ah, uh, well, he would say that on MASH. <laughs> <Boy>. <laughs> Just a grinding, <laughs> a grinding halt. I'm still trying to <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh. God damn, Chip. Yeah, this was a good one. This is a good one. I can't even tell you. I was so uh, pleasantly surprised um, at um, being on Chip's show. I always am when it when he. I got the text saying it would be tonight. Uh, I was very happy. Thank you, Chip. Well, always. Thank you. And thank Sue, you. thank you for coming as always. I all your fans. They come up, they, they follow me on Instagram afterwards. I get all your fans. Yeah, they're yes. very nice. Yeah. Yeah. Very good, Sue. And of course, Gilbert, I just can't. I fucking. Gilbert, is this is your first time on the podcast, right? <laughs> I love it. 
<laughs> you behaved like a little scamp this evening. <laughs> God damn. All right, listen. So the way we close this out. Now, Gilbert, you haven't been on. You've been on one time before or no? I don't think so. I don't okay. remember. Uh, we, we count out. And then at the end, because I don't like to use dirty language, we all say chippy kaye for the mucker. For the mucker, right? Yeah, we don't like to say the mucker. safe way. We've only dropped the C bomb eighty times. <laughs> yeah, we got to beep out. I think, yo, but I think oh. I kept the count. You said cunt somewhere between three and seventy-four times. <laughs> 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 and and when I was talking about Carrie Bergdorf, I said this Sally Kellerman's cunt. <laughs> so that <laughs> the original Hot Lips. Wow. Yes, she was. Yeah. Oh, of course. Not, not to be confused with Loretta Swift's cunt. Right. That's right. Loretta <laughs> Swift's a different lady. That's but that's like saying, well, would she notice if it was all those fingers or Donald Sutherland? <laughs> you bet she would. <laughs> <laughs> what about Parnell Roberts' head rubbing up against trying to get it in there? <laughs> Arnaby be uh, Jones? Uh, Buddy Epson. Ah. And then uh, uh, William Conrad is uh, Cannon. Oh, yeah. And uh, Mannix, of course. You got to love uh, Mannix. Oh, who was, who was Mannix? Uh, Michael? Mike, uh, Mike Connors. Mike Connors, yes. Yeah, I yeah. don't remember Mannix. Mannix. Mannix was getting hit on the head and shot every day. I remember it was a controversial show because they used to say it was uh, too violent. And, and I watch it now on MeTV at night. It's hilarious. Every episode, though, it's getting conked on the head, shot. It's great, though. Mannix, fucking big head of Armenian hair on that fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Gilbert Godfrey, what are you promoting, babe? Ah, uh, Gilbert Godfrey's amazing colossal podcast. And if you want a video shout out for me, uh, cameo.com slash Gilbert Godfrey. Yup. And here's the best part. I do cameos too, and Jim Norton is not getting that many requests. <laughs> <laughs> I get a lot, but Jim Norton's just checking it. Hey, let's just see. Somebody might want to shout out. Nah, Jim, nah. Shout Chip it out. Is, Chip is getting a lot of requests, though. That's crazy. Believe me, I'll tell you, the fucking cake does come from this part of the brain. All right. <laughs> Sue, what are you promoting, babe? I do my suit TV on Facebook. I do it three times a week now. Run uh, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday live. And then you can go to SueCostello.com. I have all 80 episodes up from when I did when we were in lockdown. So okay. SueCostello.com. And you can follow me on Instagram at I am Sue Costello. Okay. When do you do your show on the Facebook? At 5 p.m. on Tuesday, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. 5 p.m. East Coast. Okay. Anthony, the great Anthony, you run fucking Thank Compound you. Media. Compound Media, 4 p.m. Eastern time, uh, Monday through Thursday. Yes, me and Dave Landau. Yeah, Dave's funny. Um, Love Dave. Yeah, he's really good. He's mean. Um, yeah. Okay, we got... <laughs> Such a nice guy. <laughs> we, but I'm talking to him. I'm like, you even watch me. <laughs> you know, we, we understood I, each other. Uh, I hear you, Chip. Uh. And I, he said, no, I, said, I was talking to Gilbert, though. I'm like, Jesus Christ. You know, you this guy over here, you know. <laughs> <laughs> so annoying. <laughs> All right. So, listen, Gil, we do, we do Chippy Kaye for the muck. Is everybody ready? Because we uh, do yeah. Jimmy Kaye. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> hey, hey, Jimmy Kaye, all right? Hold on a second. We're going to count that and we'll see who remembers. You know, Gil. <laughs> Look at you with the fucking the table Chip. behind you empty, I might add. You know? Chip, <laughs> Chippy Kaye. <laughs> <laughs> all right, here we go. Let's count down. Yes. So this has been a fun one. 47. Oh, come on. Oh, all right. Is that too high? That's all right. way too high. I'm not going to sit here for 47 seconds. Five, four, Five, three, three, two, one. Chippy Kaye. For the oh, muckers. Damn. 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 <laughs> Wait, oh, no, no, um, oh, God. oh no, uh, what was that one? I don't remember. 
Ha, 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 ha.